How's it going guys? Welcome back to a brand new video. My name is Alex and welcome to the Puck Luck channel. Today we're talking about Eric Carlson because it is reported that he's very close to signing an 8-year $11 million contract for $88 million in total, obviously. And uh, here's where it gets interesting because uh, my hair is out of whack today. Either way, it gets interesting because they don't have a lot of cap space. Uh, and it's going to be quite interesting because they have two key pieces to sign on top of Carlson already. Uh, but the reports are pretty, pretty real. Uh, there have been reports on Sportsnet and on, on Twitter by the your obvious, you know, Bob McKenzie and stuff like that. So some pretty reputable sources are reporting on this. And then if you look at Instagram, all the big accounts are posting about it. So it seems as though it's about to happen. So let's switch over to our one and only, uh, wow, okay. That's cool. Oh, there we go. Now I was about to say, why is it not working? We're going to take a look here because this is our f great website called capfriendly.com uh, where we can take a look at all the contracts and here are all your free agents for them. Uh, a lot of these guys aren't going to get paid a lot. They're very little amounts, uh, but the big guys are Joe Pavelski, uh, Joe Thornton, uh, possibly Gustav Nyquist. He probably will be leaving in the free agency. Uh, and then we have a, a few more guys here. Eric Carlson, the big one on the defensive side. And then uh, that's about it. So those are the big pieces, about four big pieces. Three of them are huge, and only one of them can really walk. Maybe even two of them can walk. Joe Pavelski, whether he plays another season. Oh, sorry, not Joe Pavelski. Uh, Joe Thornton, whether he plays another season or not, is important to the team. And he probably wouldn't take a big contract, even if he played another season, because he's a veteran and he's a smart guy. But according to the website... They have 24 mil in contract space left uh, from according to what's, you know, who's expired already. Now, it's interesting to say that the contract that Eric Carlson will sign is 11 mil and that will take them down to about 13.1 mil or 13.8 something mil because uh, it's not an exactly 11 mil on the dot contract. It's 11.43 something. So they'll be around... Uh, 13.3 something mil. So we're just going to go with that. Let's just round it off. We'll say they have 13 million left in contract uh, for two or three more pieces that are pretty important to the team, especially Joe Pavelski and Joe Thornton. So Joe Thornton, in my opinion, he'll probably take a 1 mil, 1.2 mil contract. He'll be a Zidane Chara to the San Jose Sharks, a very good player and a very humble player. So he knows what he's worth and he knows where he's at in his career. So he probably won't take a big contract, but he won't take like a 925. Obviously, that'd be ridiculous. I don't even think he can legally take a 925. So he'll probably take 1 mil, maybe 2 mil max. Joe Pavelski, on the other hand, I'd say he'd take about 3, maybe 4 mil. He's still a very good player for them and he's coming off a pretty good season. I'd say he takes about three to four mil max. So that's, let's say we take that into account. Five mil right there, 13 mil, five mil gone. So out of your $24 million contract, let's just say you just spent uh, 14 million, let's just say, on everybody. All right. So now you have a few other pieces. They're very small pieces. Gus of Nyquist maybe might be resigned, most likely walking. But it gets interesting when you actually take a look into the defensive aspect of the San Jose Sharks. Let's say Carlson gets his $11 million contract. That is three defensemen you are paying to take 8 mil for Brent Burns, and then another 7 mil for Mark Edward Vlasic, and then another 11 mil for Eric Carlson. That is uh, a huge amount just spent on players uh, defensive alone. And then if you take everybody else's contract into account... That is $34 million, or let's just round it up to 35 because it isn't an exact 11 mil. So we'll say 35 mil a season, uh, sorry, not a season, 35 mil in total for their contracts in just defensemen. Just defense, 11 mil. I don't know. And you have some pretty good pieces to re-sign too in the next thing. Uh, Dell, Aaron Dell is probably going to want a bit of an upgrade on his pay currently taking up 1.9 he probably want about two and a half three mil depending on how his season goes next one next season and then you have a few players expiring like Melker Carlson who takes up a good amount two mil and then uh in the defensive aspect you have Justin Braun and Dylan uh, Braden Dylan who takes up a good amount six mil seven mil about in total so that's a bit off the chart so seven mil let's say you have about nine mil right now in just big contracts that you are going to that are going to expire and then the 925s and the 700s are going to add up and they're going to probably I think we're looking at about 
16, maybe 15 million in contract space next season. But that doesn't help the fact that your big pieces like Logan could serve Evander Kane are being paid eight to seven mil for the next like at least five seasons, as you can see at the top here. And then you go down to Brent Burns and Mark Edward Vasek, and they're getting paid eight to seven mil for the next couple of seasons as well. So if you look at it, uh, you know, you got Thomas Hurdle, who has about three years left on his five million dollar contract. You have that three-year gap to really do something because Thomas Hurdle is a good player and he's really proven himself at 5.6. He's a decent player and he's probably going to want a pay grade upgrade. I mean, why wouldn't you? Uh, and I don't know if they're going to have it in them and they're probably going to have to shift him away or, or shift other players away to get him to stay. So it's a really interesting scenario for the San Jose Sharks. So let's go take a look at this website. It's a, sort of the same thing, and they've already inputted the new contracts that are supposedly uh, already added. So you can see your 8 mil contracts, your 7 mil, although I don't know if these are, are legit because, I mean, look at this. It says Eric Carlson, 11.5 mil, but it only puts them up for f like five seasons, right? So that's not accurate, I don't think. But you know what is accurate? The defensive amount, which is what we're looking at here. 42% of their salary cap is on defense. And most of that, about 30% of that, is just defensive. Market Vasek, Brett Burns, and Eric Carlson. That's everybody on the team. And then they spend most of it, obviously, on, on forwards. But so much of their team is on defense. I mean, that's insane. It's crazy. It's crazy. So let's go take a look at Eric Carlson news. Let's just refresh real quick. See what kind of news has been uh, gathered from TSN, maybe. Maybe a good... So, like I said, Bob McKenzie apparently said uh, about... Or Pierre Lebron said that Bob McKenzie said, <laughs> okay, eight-year, 11 million. Uh, the Sharks with a huge move to keep the superstar defenseman uh, from hitting the market. Obviously, he'd get a huge amount of money. So let's read into this. Los Angeles Kings defenseman Drew Doughty is currently set to be the league's highest paid defenseman next season with eight year, eight, $88 million. And Connor McDavid re remains the big guy with a $12.5 million contract. So I'm going to take this time here to just talk about big contracts. Ever since Connor McDavid got his $12.5 million contract, every player after that has thought that they deserve something near because the highest is Connor McDavid. He's the biggest and greatest player. He gets paid the most. And now we should just respect that amount. And that's the amount every player wants to be near. So Eric Carlson gets his $11 million contract. Austin Matthews, who's, you know, he's a good player, but, you know, does he really deserve 11.634? Not really. He probably deserves about 10 around uh, Jack Eichel, but he doesn't deserve 11.634. And and then you've got guys like Jeff Skinner who gets his $9 million contract, and then, you know, Carey Price signing his 10.5, and it's like these guys are getting paid ridiculous amounts now, and it's all because of one guy, Connor McDavid, who got paid 12.5. And if you say, oh, but Edmonton gave him that. Edmonton was like, you know what, we're going to give you 12 mil. I don't believe that completely. I don't believe that they were like, yes, we'll give you 12 mil up front. I don't think that's true. I think that logically, I mean, there is a possibility that they were like, yes, let's give him 12 mil because their their GM was an idiot. But I think that honestly, they probably started pretty low at nine, maybe 10 mil. And then obviously they talked and they got all the way up to 12. And just because of that one contract, they think they deserve, they think every player deserves to be near or less than Connor McDavid and more than Sidney Crosby, who's getting 8.7 mil, and you're telling me that a guy who's barely shown himself and barely started his career in the league, Austin Matthews, gets 11.63? I mean, yeah, he's going to be a good player in a couple of years for sure and probably better than Crosby if he continues to work hard. But right now, he doesn't deserve 11 million. It's ridiculous. And you guys... Anyways, what do you guys think? In the comments down below, let me know. Does Eric Carlson deserve a 11.63, or I think it was 11.63, uh, sorry, that was Austin Matthews, 11.485, I think it was, million dollar contract. D does he deserve that big of a contract? He's an injury prone guy. He's been injured at least three seasons in a row now. Uh, he had an oak, he had a pretty good season. He started off slow in San Jose, but he ended really well. But does he really deserve that much money? And is Brett Burns' career at risk now? At 34 years old, at an $8 million hit, is Brett Burns possibly leaving the San Jose Sharks? Will he be traded? Because he's 8 mil for quite a few more seasons. So is it time to move? Who knows? And to be fair to you, San Jose, I mean, I wouldn't let Eric Carlson go. But I mean, he's 29 years old and the rest of your defensives are already in their 30s. And you're paying them nearly 
uh, more than seven mil a season. Three guys, and all of them are nearly 30 years old, or all two of them are 30 years old, and one is nearly 30 years old, and you're paying them seven mil and 11 mil and eight mil. All right, good luck, San Jose and San Jose fans. I hope you're happy, and I hope you win a cup in the next three years, because if you don't, this is going to be a huge problem for you. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Good luck. Jeez.